Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower. When we last left off, we had a bit of an adventure in uh, the library, I believe, and we managed to get everything that we needed. Uh, that was quite, quite a while ago, um, about eight days ago for me, so uh, a little bit rusty. Anyway, we were playing as Helen, and we were about to uh, set off for England, at least. That's the plan. So, let's talk to Stan here. Gods, I've learned something interesting about Scissorman. You've got something? That's what she just said. Yes, I know where the Barrow's Castle is. The Barrow's Castle? Yes, it's where the Barrow's family used to live before they emigrated here. Go on. I looked further and found a historical account saying that a monster was born in the castle. Technically two, but okay. They must somehow have killed Sizman. Good point. So, I'm planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we aren't safe anywhere. I like the way she freaks out there. All right, but one thing, what's that? I'm going with you, okay? Gods, you're my hero. Yeah, so here we are. Right, I suppose it's about time we start thinking about uh, setting off. Uh, probably gonna be a short video today uh, because it's quarter 10 in the evening and this video needs to be up today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is going to have to be a 4G phone job because my internet is still absolute donkey dick. In fact, I did actually record some clips uh, of how awful my internet actually is. <laughs> I might upload that for shits and giggles just for the fun of it. You know, trying to scroll YouTube and just having endless grey empty icons and uh, not able to watch videos unless you drop down to 720p and then you drop down to... Four eight ah four eighty p is generally okay, but ugh, I say generally, uh, you know, that's a stretch. And um, nothing has quite highlighted my current internet pr uh, problems like today. Uh, I got surprised today. My Xbox One X has been officially retired. Because my partner has just bought me a Xbox Series X, which is now nestled in its place. It has taken the place of the One X. Uh, unfortunately, these consoles require updates. Lots of updates. So it's been downloading updates now for probably six hours. Uh, it's still grinding away, happily, sucking down. Uh, kilobytes at a time from the internet in fact quite often uh, it says download speed zero zero um, yeah so anyway cool beans finally have a, a Xbox Series X which is fucking wicked but <laughs> how useful it's gonna be uh, uh, we'll see anyway so Rick's house Police station. We've just been to police station. Let's go to the newspaper. I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Yeah, she did. She's kind of got a thing for him. Uh, he's the pedo. Not sure how he's, uh, you know, still out and about. But hey, excuse me, Miss Helen Maxwell. You have good timing. How so? Well, I've learned. I've learned. Oh, this goes too quick. That you're going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. So it was a pretty easy guess. Maybe you should be detective. Well, I'll be. Well, I'll be indeed, Helen. Maybe this jackass here should be the detective. How about it? May we join you? I don't mind, but I don't know if Gotts will like it. Well, Gotts doesn't own the plane, so hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. <laughs> I like that. All right, see you at the airport first thing in the morning. Yeah, we'll be there. See you in the morning. Yeah, um, 
Guts are definitely going to be yelling at you quite uh, quite a lot more in the future if he sees you with uh, Helen or Jennifer, I should say, before her next birthday. Yeah, be careful, my pedigree chum. Anyway, let's go to the hotel. Edward seems to have come back safely. Yeah, funny that. Hmm. Edward, thank heaven you're all right. Yes, thank you, Miss Maxwell. Thank you very much, Miss Maxwell. Yeah, well, we had to stop him from murdering every... I mean, we had to save him, didn't we? Yes. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere. That there might be danger. Yeah, keep him away from scissors. Oh, I see. We're going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we're going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. We're hoping to find some clues about Scissorman. May I go too? Edward, what are you saying? He will, he will probably kill me too if we stay. I want to go along and help. Edward, that is... Please, Kay. Well, all right. <laughs> well, all right then. Fuck it. <laughs> Please look after him, Miss Maxwell. Hmm. Well, all right. Wait, so does Kay not go? We'll be the first flight tomorrow morning. Wait, so does Kay not go uh, if we're playing as Helen? I mean, I'm not sure what Edward is going to do. I mean, he might, uh, you know, thin the herd. I think that's uh, exactly what Edward is planning to do. Thinning the herd indeed. In fact, I think our, our plane fare coming back is going to be significantly less. Yeah, let's just say that. Thanks to Edward. Right, can we go to the library? The general public still should not be allowed to enter. Okay. But we're not the general public, are we? We were there. We were there, man. Professor Barton Harris. We've just been to the scene of the murder. Which one? What a terrible thing to have happen. Yeah, but one good thing came out of it. I now know where the Barrys used to live in England before immigrating. Yeah. I suppose that is where his home is. Yes. And I think... I'll find some clues about him there. Hmm. What are you up to, Harris? You're also after Jennifer, aren't you? Wow, what is with this place? And well, as for Professor Barton, well, he's just off anyway. So, hmm, very strange things are, are going on in this town. I don't know, maybe there's something in the water. They're all perverts and pedos. Or murderers, you know. Let's ramp, uh, lump them all in together. Let's say it like it is, you know. So what are you going to do now? I would like to go to England tomorrow. May I? Hmm, all right. But our research staff will go with you. Which, everybody? We may discover some material that will be important in the future. The material, huh? I suppose that will be okay. Very well, then. I will go get ready. All right. Well, sure. Business expense, I suppose. Cool. Cool. All right. <clears throat> university. Let's have a little look at the university. Let's get Helen on board. Um, Jennifer on board. Jennifer. Uh, Helen, are you all right? Yeah, I was able to get the statue. And I found a clue. Right, the inspector told me about going to the Barrow's Castle. God, you can't keep anything quiet, can you, Gots? Jesus, here we are, formulating a plan, kind of somewhat in secret, to take out Mr. Scissorman, and here you've got Inspector Gots singing like a fucking canary. Jesus. Suddenly, we've got ten people going to England. Yes. Criminy, this is supposed to be serious business. Yeah, supposed to be. 
I've contacted the police in England, and I've also arranged a rental car from the airport. Yeah, make sure to get a bus, remember. Thank you, Gots. We're coming to get you, Scissor Man. This time, you'll be doing the running. <laughs> I don't think so. At least, not yet. Okay. She's very confident. I can dig it, you know. Fair. Almost looks like we're going to London. That's not what London looks like. I can tell you. It will be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Let's camp. Let's do it. Strange. Where is Jennifer? Gots has just come out for a shit. Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them. Oh, so she did come. Uh, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh, no. Jennifer is missing, too. They can't be missing. The castle! Hurry! Dun dun dun! Alright. To the castle then. Last scenario, scissor man. Also, it doesn't look like he rented a car. He's got like the full camping gear and everything. You know, no expense spared here. What's wrong? Tea. Everyone's waiting. Oh, uh. yeah. Everyone's waiting where? Well, actually sounded like she was enjoying that. Oh, what happened? I don't know, but Gott seems to have left you there for dead. You know, a bit unprofessional of him, if you ask me, but hey. Right, well, I suppose we should let ourselves in. Not sure why this place is literally like falling apart straight away. It's a bit weird. This is what a mansion. Yep, this is the start of our our pain and torment that is this castle. I actually do like the castle bit, but it's uh what would you say? It's hectic. You know. I mm, should I save it? Or should I just use a save state? Because I think it's easier with Helen to get the extra endings. Uh, because I don't think we have to replay old scenarios again like you do with... Uh, oh, we're going to have to replay. Well, I'm going to have to replay large sections anyway. But if we... <sighs> Let's save there. Okay. Cool. Right. So we can start fresh. Alright, so everything's gone tits up because of course it has. Um Right, so now we need to like start looking for everyone and find out what's actually happening around here. And I still love the fact that there's no music. I love the fact that there's no music. And the fact that um everything is totally silent apart from the echoey footsteps and I know the sound quality isn't great it's not like we have like Dolby Atmos or anything like that but they did a, a quite a lot with a little in this game I think um, anyway ooh hello Jennifer are you there Jennifer Jennifer. Oh, it's no use. The door won't open. Oh. Hold on, Jennifer. I'm coming. Yeah, well, I don't think we're exactly filling her with confidence, but right, let's start exploring, shall we? Now, there's actually something quite interesting here, if I remember correctly. I am going to use a save state for this. Because we can demonstrate something interesting here. 
I have written it down in my notes. So it must be interesting. Right, let's go in through here. Hello. Looks like Beth is just is that Beth chilling Beth, out? Yes. Are you all right? Helen, everyone's lost. And she's just chilling here in the corner. Actually, to be fair to her, it's not actually a bad hiding place. Um, because depending on what way the door opens, this man ain't gonna be able to really easily get to her. Or even notice that she's there, so hmm. Hang in there, Beth. I want to look around for more. Well, we haven't started looking around yet. Are we going to still wander about here? Yes. The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. I've got to find it. Come on, Beth. You thought this was going to be fun. Beth, you should stay here. You've got to be joking. I'm not going to leave us alone again. I'm going with you. Okay, so if we let her come with us, she will die. Um, Beth, listen. Scissor Man does not care how many people there are. No, he doesn't. We can just die together. We have a better chance of being rescued if we split up. Yes. Listen to listen to Auntie Helen here. To find a way to kill Scissor Man. Wait here. Do as you told, for Christ's sake. Do as you told. All right, I will. Yeah. Uh, You'll come back, won't you? <laughs> sure. Yes. Uh, absolutely, Beth. We'll be back. Maybe. Probably. Uh, right, so actually, let's load that. So she's going to come with us now. And hang on, is there anything in this room that we need? Um, okay. I don't think there's anything in this room. I don't know. I guess we could still use this as a hidey hole. Oh! <laughs> yeah... Yeah, that's what happens if uh, Beth comes with you. So, Beth, we don't want that to happen. I mean, it's funny and it's entertaining, but we'll leave her here for now. Anyway, let's explore. <clears throat> Come on, through the door. Come on, Helen. Um, now... Let's go. Oh, yeah, because this is the corridor. Yeah, that's the door that leads out to death, basically. So we don't really want to go into the death corridor. So we've got a screwdriver. We have a statue. And we have a flashlight. Almost misread that. Lel. Um, okay. So. Let's go through here. For now. Right, this leads us through into the ki Oh, fuck. Scissorman's here. I mean, Scissorman's here. We don't exactly know exactly where Scissorman is. He might actually be through here. He is not through here. Which is excellent. Because we can twat him over the head with this. Excellente. There we go. Come on. Come get your fucking soup. Come on, buddy. There we go. Plenty of fucking iron in that. Okay, cool. Now we can go back in. Uh, pretty sure we can find someone else in here. Uh, Scissor Man has, as Chris said, teleported away into fuck knows where. I don't know if there's a... 
a hint around here somewhere? There are probably cockroaches. Yeah, probably. But I think cockroaches uh, would be, you know, less worrisome than uh, Sizman. Oh. Oh. Hello. Harris. Harris, don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? <laughs> no. Oh, well, it's a good looking place anyway, quite relaxing. Uh, what? Okay. What are you saying? Scissor Man is lurking around here somewhere. Yes. It's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. Because he is after you. Pretty sure he's after all of us, dude. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. I wonder which door it opened. Yeah, I wonder too. Fireplace key. You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, fireplace key. Now, the fireplace key is kind of an interesting item. Um, we can actually get ending C using it. We could actually get ending C fairly quick if we wanted to now. But we don't want to do that just yet. Um, I'm not sure where Harris is. Kind of dried up brown things. I wonder what they used to be. Who knows, Helen? Who knows? Shelves are full of canned goods. They've all gone bad and swollen up. Yeah. Can we not notice? Ah, wait a minute. Do we have to click on this? A square board has been fit to the floor. Right. Now. Yeah. I wonder what these used to be. Yeah, so. Can't remember where the switch was. Was it this side? Ah, there we go. Huh? Seems to be a switch at the back of the shelf. Then push it, Helen. For God's sakes, Helen. Do something right in your life. Um, now. Let's see if anyone's been uh, stuffed into the barrels. Let's have a look. Wine barrels. Yes. Wine barrels. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're not going to notice anything too interesting about it. There are many bottles of wine here. Something smells sour. That's unfortunate. Who smells sour? Now there should. I guess we can't examine any. Ah. We can examine this though. Shelf's covered with cobwebs. Come on, Helen. No, Hel Helen. Come on. Come on. Helen. Helen. Seriously. I always forget how we initiate this exactly. I guess we can't. I'm sure. So we can only search the wine barrels or we can search that. But we can't appear to do anything here. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Is there anything in my notes about this? Uh hmm, no. Alright. <gasps> ah, that's it. Now we can look behind. Yeah, I got stuck on that bit last time as well, if I remember. Now do we just search that again? Ah, there we go. Ah, Tim. Tim hello. Oh, Ms. Maxwell. Hi, buddy. Is everyone all right? Mostly. No. I'm still looking for them. I wonder if Nolan's still alive. Uh, we haven't actually bumped into Nolan yet, but don't worry, Tim. We will, uh, we will find Nolan, I'm sure. Right, okay, let's get out of here. So, uh, sometimes Scissorman's there, and Tim is somewhere else, but luckily we found Tim. 
Uh, what's the time doing actually? Ah, we're only like 25 minutes. I better save it here, guys. Otherwise, this video is going to have no chance of being done tonight. Uh, when we come back, we will continue looking for people. Um, yeah, because <laughs> I'm going to have to put my... I've got to render this video. I've then got to put it on my phone. And then I've got to put my phone outside in my back garden. <sighs> yeah. But hey, 2026 ain't that far away, is it? That's when our internet's getting upgraded. I mean, that's that's only like, you know, a couple of days away, right? <sighs> anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.